Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin's medical crisis last December put the spotlight on fighting prostate cancer while reducing the risk of side effects and complications. In this week's Moves in Medicine, we revisit a trial here on a less invasive technique. Here's Sarah Bloomquist. For a decade, prostate cancer has been on the rise. While it doesn't always endanger men's lives, it can affect their quality of life with incontinence or sexual dysfunction. Dr. Andres Correa of Fox Chase Cancer Center says treating the whole prostate when the cancer is isolated raises those risks. The goal of focal therapy is to identify those patients that have cancer in a specific place that we can see on the MRI. Fox Chase has been in nationwide tests of the nano knife focal therapy, which uses IRE, an electrical technique, to destroy a tumor yet leave healthy tissue alone. So far, no one treated with nano knife has had cancer return on that side. As for side effects, no patients has had any incontinence. Any sexual issues have been short lived. After like six months or so, uh, it seems to be able to win off the medications. Dr. Correa says another therapy, high intensity focused ultrasound or HIFU, is being used more often. HIFU is using focused ultrasound to hit the tissue to create that ablation zone or that destruction of tissue. Cryoablation, which uses extreme cold, is a third focal therapy. The size and location of the cancer determine which is best. If you have a large tumor, Cryo is probably better than IRE just because it allows you to great to get a better um, a better treatment zone. He urges men to take time to find out what's best for them. It's important for someone to go to the center that just doesn't provide just one, but has a little bit of kind of two or three different tools that can mold to the patient's anatomy and where the cancer is located. Dr. Correa says treatments are evolving quickly. Prostate cancer is going to be very treated very differently in 10 years than it's treated only now. Sarah Bloomquist, Channel 6 Action News.